So we're not gonna do a video today on the Jeep or the Corvette. We're gonna do it on this Samsung washing machine. My Maytag dishwasher video probably has some of the more views of, of any video I've done. And I do have an issue with my Samsung washer uh, that we're gonna address today. Hopefully get as many views. So in this case, the Samsung washer has a lot of issues. It's a great washer, it works great. However, uh, it was recalled for what's called uh, an exploding issue where the drum gets off balance and can knock the top off. Uh, there is a fix for that. That's not the problem I'm having. When that recall happened, they also sent in this little sticker right here uh, to go over that changes what cycles you should use and actually blanks out some of the cycles that you shouldn't use for certain things. And that's just because the drum can get very off balance. The, the balancing system is not as strong as it should be. And that's what causes your DC error. Whenever you, uh, if you have one of these and you have it on the spin cycle or it is spinning for some reason, whether it's rinsing or spinning, and it gets off balance and wobbles and then stops. And you'll see DC in the little window here. That's DC error. And that just means the drum is out of balance. Uh, there's a couple things that can happen that can cause that. Uh, number one, a, a large nut can back off between the two parts of the drum and the next thing and the thing that was wrong with mine is that the springs that balance the drum are just not strong enough and this is something that's been uh, admitted to by Samsung and there is an actual kit you can buy I haven't found where to buy it yet but I've seen pictures of it online that will replicate what we're going to do for three dollars and fifty cents uh, but the kit costs thirty or forty bucks and you have to replace some springs and things like that the way i'm going to do it is very simple i didn't i just stole the idea i didn't come up with this myself but you can see how easy it is to do with very simple tools so let's get into it so to do the fix that worked for me for the samsung uh, dc air fix was to buy uh, a length of tubing this is one inch inside diameter uh, braided rubber tubing i would maybe go with the inch and a quarter if i was to redo it I got that from home depot for three dollars and fifty cents some zip ties that i already had and a razor blade to cut the tubing into sections and that's all you'll need all right once i got the washing machine sitting on the uh, sitting on its side or on its front uh you can kind of see here's the drum assembly the issue of course is that these springs are not strong enough to stabilize the drum we're going to fix the springs a couple different ways you can do that uh, or at least get to the springs you need to just do it from under here which is what i'm going to do or you can take the top off and the springs and rods that they're on will come out pretty easily I'm going to leave the springs and rods in there to do the fix. To do this fix, you're going to need to go buy some uh, hose. I went and bought this uh, braided vinyl hose from Home Depot. Uh, you can use a heater hose or any type of hose, really. This one has a one-inch inside diameter. It might need an inch and a quarter, but we that's fine. We can we can fix that. So first thing I'm going to do is cut this thing into four sections because there's four springs. I'm going to cut it in about... About an inch and a half, two inch sections. I'm just gonna make them all even though. Doesn't really matter that they're super long because the springs aren't super long. Once you got four uh, very equal sized uh, pieces of rubber hose, uh, if this is gonna be a one inch diameter, uh, inside diameter hose you're using, it's gonna be slightly too small. So I'm gonna split them uh, down the middle so that I can, of course, you're gonna wanna do that anyway unless you're taking the springs all the way off. That way I can wrap them around the spring. Once you have all three split down the middle, um, so you can wrap them around the spring, you want to get a couple zip ties for each one, so eight zip ties. And all I'm going to do is put two zip ties around it to hold it to the spring. One near the top and one near the bottom. I'll do that, I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll talk very briefly about why this potentially will work. And then uh, we'll fire it up and see if it does work. All right, hopefully you can see the fixed part. <clears throat> I should have gotten an inch and a quarter inside diameter. I didn't see any at Home Depot, so you may have to go to an auto parts store or something uh, to get a, a braided hose, a rubber hose that has the right inside diameter. So you can see that one's a little bit short, uh, but you want it a little bit short because you want to be able to tighten it up with the zip ties. So you want to be able to still cut a slit and either overlap or pull them together. Uh, but that should work. The idea is that you strengthen the spring and make the spring harder to compress. Um, which that should do just fine. So you do want these tight. I wouldn't, I saw some people online who have done this and they were suggesting that they might want to use some uh, hose clamps. I probably wouldn't do that. I think you might um, have a tendency to get too tight and, uh, and damage the spring. Uh, I think a few zip ties will probably work just fine. 
Of course, if they don't, then I'll, I'll make another video showing the failure. But I, I can't take credit for this. Uh, I read up about why it failed, and I just looked on some Google images that showed an actual Samsung repair part uh, that has spring, new springs that already have the hose uh, attached to it. I think it was 30 or 40 bucks. Whereas this costs $3.40 worth of uh, hose and I had the uh, zip ties already at home anyway. So realistically, it cost me nothing. Now, let's just see if it works. That's going to be the, the catch. It's super easy to do, but let's see if it works. All right, so this is already turned off from the cycle that I did, and the fix worked perfectly. It went straight through its cycle with towels in there that usually cause it to have the drum error. It rinsed them properly. It spun them properly, uh, and it worked perfectly. So uh, the tubing fix on the springs uh, that I showed you works great. Uh, I probably, I do wish I would have got an inch and a quarter inside diameter tubing instead of that one inch diameter tubing, but uh, that one still works fine. I may just go ahead, I may go back in and put another zip tie on it. But either way, it works. Hopefully this will help you save your $600, $700 washing machine and not have to get rid of it uh, or not have to spend $100, $200, $300 getting it repaired, especially if you have already gone through the whole issue with the exploding washer part and the recall on it. So this one obviously got recalled. I didn't do anything with it, but fix a few things on it and now it's as good as new. Uh, again, it's been a, it's been a good washer and now hopefully it'll continue to be a good washer thanks guys i hope this helped and there'll be some jeep videos coming up soon i just ordered something very awesome for the jeep so stay tuned for that and uh have a great day bye